Felix Trinidad is one of the most accomplished welterweights of all time, defending his title 15 times and achieving victories over such greats as Oscar De La Hoya and Pernell Whitaker. But when most think of Trinidad, they think of one thing, his brutal, unstoppable, crushing left hook. So today, we're gonna look at a few techniques and tactics that Tito used to set up his epic signature punch. To start with, Trinidad knew very well how to play with the opponent's expectations by alternating between targeting their body and head. For this to work, Trinidad needed his body shots to be formidable enough to cause an overreaction. And they were, with Trinidad serving out a fair share of fried liver in his day. A small step or lean inside was more than enough to set up the correct angle, especially when the opponent was against the ropes or crouching forward. Once Tito's opponent had enough of an incentive to dramatically lower their guard, a follow-up hook to the head would finish up the job. Now let's take a break from punch selection and look at footwork. Trinidad had a major tendency to set up his hooks by stepping to the outside. This angle allowed him the power dynamics of a hook punch that took a path down the middle like a jab. This way, Trinidad's hook could split an opponent's guard. As an added bonus, his rear hand was better able to circumvent the opponent's guard from the side. Speaking of the rear hand, most great lead hookers also have a terrific cross, even if it's not quite as powerful as their hook. Trinidad was no exception. Like Triple G, he often led with his rear hand, rather than first setting it up with a jab. This is because the two punches pair together incredibly well in both setup and power dynamics. The cross squared up Trinidad's posture, ensuring that his hook would be loaded up, and vice versa. As such, Trinidad was prone to using throwaway crosses as a setup. One level beyond this was to feint the cross so that his hook could get there even earlier. In this fight, Trinidad was lucky enough to have a competitor that would actually slip into his hook after slipping his cross. Trinidad was smart enough to recognize this and then capitalize on it. Of course, every boxer worth their salt has a few counters up their sleeves, and Trinidad was no exception. He seemed to realize early in his career that the lead hook is a fantastic counter to use against an opponent as they step forward into range. Because the hook is a non-linear punch, it was still easy for Trinidad to throw with tremendous power even while stepping or leaning back. Or while sidestepping or pivoting away. Returning the hook also worked well for Trinidad while intercepting his opponent's attack as they moved in could add a great deal of force to the blow, so too could loading it up by slipping or ducking inside first. Whether facing an orthodox or southpaw opponent, Trinidad was effective at slipping left against a straight to return a hard counter hook. As great as Trinidad was at throwing the lead hook, it's important to remember that a lot of his victories came from TKOs. So to finish off the video, here's three quick points about why I think Trinidad was such a great finisher. First, his punch selection. Each shot set up the next and forced the opponent to adjust his guard, leaving openings for the next punch. Second, Trinidad rarely wasted punches. If the opponent managed to get in his rhythm, or he couldn't time him, Trinidad would pause and wait for the right moment. And third, Trinidad knew when to go for the finish. A lot of boxers either don't have that killer instinct, 
or they go for the finish too soon and waste a lot of time and energy trying to put away an opponent who has already recovered. Trinidad was aggressive, but discerning. Long story short, if you have a killer left hook, but find yourself getting blocked or hitting air, Trinidad is the man to study. If you want to up your own game, you could check out my books on footwork, power, and defense. Praised by pro fighters, and all rated over 4.5 stars after hundreds of reviews. From The Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.